Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for audio editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. First thing I like to do is actually be able to see the audio tracks I'm working with. So Alt or Option if you're on Mac and the plus or minus keys will increase the size of the waveforms that you're working with so you can really see those audio tracks. Now, another annoying little thing that happens to me in Adobe Premiere Pro because of the way my audio interface is set up, my microphone is plugged into channel one. So I only get the recording from channel one when I'm recording a voiceover onto an audio track. This is a voiceover recording. So you can hear it really quietly over in the left. Now, if I want to boost that up and make that loud, I'd hit the G key, which I remember as gain on my keyboard and I normalize the max peak to zero. That makes it nice and loud. This is a voiceover recording, but you'll hear that it's still only on the left, which is annoying. Even this over here, this is a voiceover recording, is showing that it's only on the left and it's hitting the red. So let's actually hit the G key again and maybe normalize it to minus one so that it's not so loud. This is a voiceover recording. Okay, perfect volume on that now. Let's get it over onto the right. Quick and easy way to do it is Shift and G, and then you can actually choose the channels. So in this case, I want the left to be the left channel and I want the right to also come from the left channel. So I change the way I tick there, click OK and look at what it's done. It's placed my left over on the right as well. This is a voiceover recording. Oh yes, fantastic. So, so far we've remembered the G key to change the gain or the volume levels of our audio in Adobe Premiere Pro and Shift and G to alter those channels if we get one-sided or one-legged audio. We also remember that we can use the Alt or Option key, minus and plus to make those waveforms as big or as small as we like on our screen. Another thing we can do, um, you may well be familiar with the fact that you can hit the Control or Command D on your video and you can kind of do a fade in, see like that on the video. And you can also do a fade out on there. See, so that's fading in and out. But did you know you can also do fade ins and fade outs on audio tracks? And the way you do that with the audio selected or the audio and video is you hit the control or command shift and D and look at this, you get fade ins and fade outs on your audio. You can then zoom in on your sequence here and you can move this fade and that is a nice fade in for your audio and a fade out on your audio. It can be good on your voice, your dialogue tracks and also on music tracks as well if you need it. Final thing I love to work in when I'm working specifically with audio and a shortcut that, well, I wish was default is the ability to change this uh, timeline here from working in frames. As you can see, I'm working in frames up there to working in audio time units where I can go really detailed and I can zoom right in on my audio here and I can actually move along and see everything in samples here rather than frames. Now, I wish there was a default keyboard shortcut to get this, but at the moment I have to right click the timeline and select it, but not anymore. Not after I've gone to the edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, and I'll type into the search bar up here, audio time units, and you'll see there's lots, but what I'm looking for, if I scroll around is the timeline panel and I've actually assigned it, but by default, this is not assigned. This has nothing assigned. I assign alt an A because you'll see nothing is assigned to that as a keyboard shortcut. Click OK. And now all I have to do is Alt A and I get the audio units on my timeline. Alt A again and it's back to video frames. So video frames, Alt A and I'm in audio, Alt A and I'm back to default. It's a shortcut that should really be default in Adobe Premiere Pro, particularly if you do a lot of moving around and editing with audio in your sequence. So remember to assign that in the edit menu under keyboard shortcuts. You will thank me and you'll use it lots. What shortcuts are you using to edit audio in Adobe Premiere Pro? Let me know in the comments below this video.
Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Thumbs up, subscribe for more, musicradiocreative.com.